guests remember their New Year's Eve at your house is magical or a special evening, you better hope so. Well, here to our rescue is PBS host and bon vivant Bill Stubbs with his last minute New Year's Eve party tips. So happy to see you. Happy to see you, It's always Juju. a festive time oh, of listen. year. You know, I think celebration is so important. Yeah. And this is, for many people, has been a very difficult year. Right, because people are not feeling like no, celebrating. But I think we need to just get up a little energy and mm -hmm. celebrate. If you haven't made any New Year's Eve plans, I'm saying let's figure out a way to have a wonderful party, make it lavish, make it festive. Right. Make, let's let's just live let's like live there's a great economy well, you and know things we, are good in 2009. Exactly. And one thing we can celebrate, the end of 2008. 2008. That exactly. everyone will happily celebrate. So here's what we're doing. Okay. The, my inspiration for this New Year's Eve party. When I began thinking about a New Year's Eve party right. and what would be a great romantic New Year's Eve party, I thought of the movie about a boy huh. with Hugh Grant and Rachel Wise. Oh. They meet at this romantic New Year's Eve party where there's Christmas lights that are strewn in the middle of the table. And so that's what we've done here. Kara Stone Pfeiffer of Tribbles did this gorgeous table. It's beautiful. Isn't it great? It immediately makes it feel Festive. Yeah, and what she's done is she's taken mylar and cut it. Mm -hmm. And so this is just a sheet of mylar that she's cut over a plain black tablecloth. And then this, the lights in the beautiful bowl. Reflect and of course, off the mylar. Absolutely. Right. So this whole thing with all the glass. I think the important thing to think about when you're planning a party is to stick with a color scheme. Mm -hmm. So, you know, here we've gone with white and silver. It's very simple. That means you can bring out all of your crystal glasses and your plain white dishes mm -hmm. and white napkins. And it becomes a little bit simpler and more affordable. You know what I love about a big table like this is that it's always the little tiny details. Exactly. This little tiny ladybug. <laughs> Is just something that you notice, and Isn't it's so this adorable. Great? It's one of Kara's trademarks, is, that is to right? put that little yeah. ladybug out. But it's all these little special touches. The little pears, absolutely. so beautiful, and the and the napkin rings look like well, my, aren't they my favorite engagement <laughs> yeah, exactly, ring. Like, right. oh look, honey, yeah, twenty I got carats. Engaged. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, you remember Very Elizabeth nice. Taylor said it, it's only gauche when it's on someone else. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and I love these rocks too, the silver rocks. Yeah, the with silver the, rocks. And, the, and building things up, you know, right. height is height a very is beautiful. Important. And the orchid the is so beautiful as well. The orchid is great. I noticed that there are these very distinctive bud vases here. Aren't these wonderful? They're fantastic. This is, you can take these, put them in water, and then put one stem. Mm -hmm. So that, that way you don't need a whole flower arrangement. Mm -hmm. You know, you just put one stem of something in there. Now this looks very luscious mm -hmm. and very, yes. frankly, expensive. Right. What's yeah. the price tag on this one? Well, you know, this is probably about $1,500 if you went out <laughs> and had to buy. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. If you had to buy everything. Yeah. But you know, what's important to do is I think you've got to know what the best is. Right. If you want to knock it off. Okay, let's knock it so off. So let's knock it off. All right, great. So now I know that this is the ultimate where I want to be, but this is where I am. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. This is so, 2000 something. Yeah. This is where well, we are. Well, and this is where we are, but it's still, I think it's still festive. And you know, one of the tricks of the trade here is this is all sitting on a shoe box. Oh, right. So it's all about height and building things up. And this is stuff that was from around the so house. So this is literally a shoe box. That's right. a shoe oh, box. Oh, brilliant. And then I took a bed sheet. Bed sheet. Let's Everyone it, has one of those. Let's do it clean and right. ironed. Okay. Got it. A bed sheet, clean and iron. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank yeah, you for that exactly. Tech, Bill. The napkins are just tea towels from the tea kitchen. Tea towels. Yeah. And this is, you know, you always ask yourself, what should I do with that holiday wrapping ribbon? There you go. We're recycling. Yeah, there this go. is a green table. I love that. And so these are things that are from around the house. So the total cost right. of decorating. These are old, the old leftover Christmas decorations. Yeah, this looks like your kitchen mixing bowl. That's the right? mixing bowl from the kitchen. And we didn't have enough of these balls to make it look opulent, so we filled it with cleaners bags. Dry cleaning Dry bags. Dry cleaning bags. Genius. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, okay. And so this it's all about total? making do. Grand total, three bucks. Three bucks. I can handle that. The That's dollar good. store. I bought this at the dollar store. Dollar store. store. Yeah. And okay, so, good. you know, the, it adds the whole But we all have this stuff feeling. around the holidays. Yeah, so That's you can easy. pull this stuff out. Dollar store, party favor store. You could also add the leftover Christmas lights to right. this as well, the white lights, which would and be wonderful. And if you were doing well in a previous year, you bring yes. some of that stuff over to this table. Now, one of the exciting things that happened during the filming of Moment of Luxury is that I interviewed Pierre Tatage. Oh. And he is the ultimate French guy, you know, Tattinger Champagne comes it goes back to the 1700s, and I interviewed him at Jean Georges. Oh, of course oh, you very, did. Oh, yeah, very, oh, very, very high, high tone. Very fancy. And so he showed me the proper way to open a bottle of champagne. Oh my God! You know, I have a little corkophobia. Yeah, I have to tell I you. Well, how do you do it? Well, it's scary. And the reason we use champagne to celebrate with is that in some cultures they shoot guns, which we don't want to do. No, shoot we guns don't. to celebrate the new year. Because you know those bullets eventually have to exactly. come out. Exactly. Yeah. So the pop of the champagne bottle is where that celebration comes from. Got it. And Pierre says to take the, the cork of the champagne bottle, 
hold it firmly in your hand and twist the bottle, not the cork. <gasps> oh my golly. Honestly, Bill, that's why I got married. <laughs> Just so that I'd have somebody Someone around else to would open do that. the champagne. And then in his incredible French accent, mm -hmm. He showed me how to appreciate champagne. Oh, well. Now, just hold that. I don't know about you, but I don't need a whole lot of coaching yeah, on how to exactly. appreciate champagne. And in his wonderful French accent, he said, Bill, uh, you appreciate champagne in several different ways. Uh, you appreciate it with your eyes. With your eyes. So you're looking at it. Yes. You appreciate it with your ears. You listen to it. It's like a shell. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So you listen to the shell and the <laughs> sound. And then you appreciate it with your smell. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mm, wonderful. Now, just Very to cap nice. it off, we have a little music, right? Yeah, you always want to set the tone with music. And I've got some great things. Of course, Michael Bublé, Caught in the Act. This is a great soundtrack, if you don't know about it. Bridges of Madison, Bridges of Madison County. Love the book. Didn't see the this movie. This new CD from Seal. Oh, my gosh. It's fabulous. Really? Oh, it's so fabulous. I love Seal. This Rio Lounge. It's kind of south of the border, a little techno stuff yeah. in it. Oh, it is really wonderful. techno festive. And then Bette Midler sings the Peggy Lee uh, songbook. Oh, What's this wrong is with the that? best. Nothing. Talk about set the scene. All right. Well, thank you Fabulous. so much. I feel like I'm now armed and ready to plan the party that I didn't. Thank you so much. And happy New happy Year. Happy New Year to you. And remember to catch more Moments of Luxury from Moment of Luxury on PBS with Bill Stubbs. Have thank a happy you, New Year. Mm -hmm.